Well, I don't know how much I'm going to get done today. My uh, brother, who lives in uh, Bountiful, Utah, is coming up to visit me today. He and his wife and his daughter. And I haven't seen them since the early part of the 2000s, so uh, it's been a long, long time. Um, I've got the hand that I met, did before, and it, it's, it's good. And what I do is I line up the arm with that hand, and they can weld that uh, there, and that gives them a key for uh, uh, where to place uh, this gentleman. You know, the only thing I need to fix is where the uh, he's holding on to the reins of or the rope of the horse and the horse has got a, a jaw strap uh, and I've got to work on that. I also got to work on that eye. There's a lot of stuff I need to work on yet and not too much uh, just you know touching up things that I wanted to touch before and I just never got around to it and uh, also the fact that I thought that I'd never get this thing cast, so I, I kind of set it aside to work on things that might get cast. And So that's what I'm going to be doing today is uh, trying to get as much as I can done, but hmm, looks like part of that arm is gone. I don't know what happened to it, but I'm going to have to fix that. Yeah, I just I wonder how, how I had that. Now yeah, I'll pass it on to fix that. I like that positioning better, and I think that's probably where I had it, and it just fell off. Try it anyway. There we go. And then what I'll do is I'll build up clay around this area here and strengthen that a little bit. What I did was I put some soft clay behind it, the shield, so that uh, it would sort of anchor it to the uh, body. And uh, I like the positioning of the shield, and it's about the right size a shield should be. Uh, this is the other guy's shield. His is the shield and his scabbard both are being blown off his back and held on only by the straps and uh, that's basically what's happening here. The reason I keep turning is because I'm trying to see what I've got going on here and I see what I need to do. The nice thing about this clay is it's been sitting in my studio and on a table someplace for about three years now and it's still just as pliable now as it was back three years ago. There we go. Now there's a big hole between the shield and his body and I don't want to have more costs than need be on producing this so I'm going to fill that in because there's no real need to have it there. Uh, 
Right here. There you Just putting fringe on the end of the sleeve so we can tell it's a, where the sleeve ends and the arm begins. A little fringe on the bottom of the shirt. to denote the uh, edge of that. My brother just called and said that he's uh, here and I've got to so I've got to uh, go and uh, I'll come back to this tomorrow and finish it up. It won't take much. And then I'm going to try to get this to the uh, foundry this week. Alright, we're just going to Virginia City, this is my brother Kevin, <laughs> my niece, Hi. what's your name? Kelly. <laughs> Kelly, and that's uh, his wife. Hi, I'm Linda. <laughs> I don't even know if I got Linda in the camera, okay, there we go. <laughs> and that's Linda, Kevin's wife. Your sister-in-law. My sister, my sister-in-law. Yes. <laughs> She's more than your, my wife. Anyway, we're heading up to uh, Virginia City and thought we'd take you along. Coming down into Virginia City now. Did you hear what Kelly just said? He's starting with the bad jokes again. <laughs> now 
now the vigilantes hung several people in this building. Oh, they've exposed the whole beam. See up there? Mm -hmm. You can barely see the burn marks from the ropes on that big beam right there. That's yeah. where they, they hung them on Ooh. or from. Is this where they hung plumber? Yeah, no. But this is a model of them hanging. This is a model of that hanging here in this building. And they, it was during the Civil War. But uh, kind of interesting, isn't it? It's very interesting. Ah, we're going to go in and see about getting some homemade saltwater taffy here on Virginia City's streets. These young ladies are making taffy, saltwater taffy, and uh, that device right there, they run the uh, candy through it and it just pops them out just like that. And then they stack it in these uh, containers here. Well, that is cool the way you take that off there. You guys might be getting oversupplied though. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, we go through a lot. We have to eat yeah. like 60 pounds a day. Do you really? Yeah. 50 pounds a day, wow. Oh, is that caramel over there? No, that's half of the Oh, that's just the way it looks like before you put it on. Yep, that's yeah. just the plain half of the They're going to pan for gold here. Bridges are going to face the water at all times. Fill your pan with water and you shake it around. Okay. Your water is going to turn that ucky brown color. That's, uh, sorry, I'm using terminology for a third grade. <laughs> that's what I'm used to. <laughs> that's um, fine. So that's all the loose dirt and the light material coming to the top, mm -hmm. which means the heavier stuff's going to the bottom. Yeah. That's important because gold is way heavier than anything. Okay. So if the sun was shining, we'd be, be able to see it a little bit better. But when you pour the water out, a lot of times there's sparkles. And those sparkles are pyrite or fool's gold. We've got a couple ways to check and make sure that's what it is. First of all, it'll be at the top of your pan and it'll flow right out with the water. And it'll flow right out with the water, so that means that it's really light, whereas gold is heavier. Then also, pyrite breaks really easily, whereas gold does not. Yeah. So what's... What what are you getting rid of right there, that we're sandy just, stuff? We're just washing our dirt right oh. now and separating things. Mm -hmm. But now my um, water's looking fairly clear, uh -huh. so I can move on to my next step, where I have my pan and my hand at an angle, dunk it into the water, let the water do the work for me, and pull that lighter material right off the top. Oh. Mm -hmm. So some one of the first things to go are going to be these milky white, clear-colored rocks. Yeah. That's quartz. Might not be super valuable to us today, but it was really valuable to the miners because oftentimes where there's uh, quartz, you can find gold. Mm. This is my niece panning for gold. She's gonna pay for college. Yeah. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> um, probably not. <laughs> um, also, pyrite breaks really easily. Gold isn't gonna break on you. So my water's starting to look fairly clear, so that means I'm ready for the next step. Um, it's going to take you longer to get there because you'll have more time. Looks like we moved just but in time. Yeah. Shake things down to the corner of your pan, of your pan and your hand at an angle. 
And these are the garnets that she's been finding. I've got a well, she's getting what looks like a little bit of color in there, but yeah. I don't know. Found a lot of garnet. Now, what do you want okay. me to do with this? So you just use it to squeeze it up? Oh, I see. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.